Thank you for joining us for this training video. In this video, we will cover VAST troubleshooting topics such as restarting the VAST service and backing up VAST configuration settings using the import-export utility. This could be useful should you decide to uninstall and reinstall VAST. You can see here I have VAST Live Client open to a VAST server where I'm viewing cameras. Note that all the changes we perform in this video assume you're on the server instead of a remote client. If stuck in a situation where VAST isn't recording, can't see live video, remote connection isn't available, or some other issues occurring where no apparent solution exists, one could restart the VAST service or uninstall, reinstall VAST in an attempt to fix the issue. Let's first look at restarting the service. If we look in the system tray located by the system time in the lower right of the screen, we can see the VAST service control. By right-clicking it, we can open the VAST service control, stop, or restart the service. Generally, we would want to restart the service in a troubleshooting situation, but you may also choose to stop it to temporarily disable VAST entirely. Note that it takes a few moments for the VAST service to stop and change from a green to a red icon. Let's start it back up. I'll right click and click Start Service. It's surprising for most people that rebooting the operating system does not ensure a service is restarted because the service state is restored on boot up. So there are situations where a problem can arise and restarting the service is the appropriate course instead of, or in addition to, rebooting the server. Note that while this service is stopped, you can't log into the VAST server using Live Client or Playback. Also note if you can't start the VAST service at all, it may be best to uninstall and reinstall VAST. Uninstalling and reinstalling VAST should be avoided, but there are times where it is a last resort to take in a troubleshooting situation. It may be useful to export your VAST settings before making a major configuration change in VAST or when uninstalling it. This way, when you reinstall, you could choose to reimport them to restore all VAST configuration settings, including usernames and their passwords, cameras, camera recordings, recording scheduling, etc. We can use the import-export utility to accomplish this. Access your start menu, then type in import. Choose the import-export utility. Click the three dots to choose an appropriate file name for the exported settings, then click save. We first need to close Live Client if we're going to go ahead and export those settings. We'll click Next, and it'll go through the process. After this is complete, we could uninstall VAST. To do that, we would access our start menu, then type in VAST uninstall. One of the top search results should be VAST uninstall application. We're going to go ahead and skip this process due to time, but should you choose to do this, we recommend you choose No when asked to remove the recorded data. This way, when you reinstall VAST, the recorded video will still be available after you import the settings. After we've theoretically reinstalled VAST, you can choose to import the previously backed up settings, which we will now demonstrate. 
Access your start menu, then type in import. We will once again choose the import export utility. Click import previous settings. Next click the three dots. Highlight our previously exported file and click open. We will then click next and then click yes to the prompt. After a couple of minutes, the import will report success. You can then connect and see all the previous VAST settings are restored. I hope you enjoyed these demonstrations of these troubleshooting and maintenance related options for VAST. This concludes the video. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.